Lauren Bird is becoming accustomed to big moments. Last time we had a sit down with the crochet artist known as Bimmy, she was coming off the excitement of being shouted out by one of her favorite artists, Grammy Award winning rapper and singer Lizzo, who not only accepted one of her creations as a gift, but wore it while performing on stage at CFG Arena. How would you describe what's been happening in your life? Wow. <laughs> and as big as that moment was, she was already weaving together her next piece. I'm the master of my fate. I'm the captain of my soul. Of course, you know, Governor Westmore is our first African-American governor of the state of Maryland. And the moment he was elected, I just felt nothing but honor and pride and excitement. As black people in America, we know what it looks like when we're able to see these people in these positions of significance, of power, of importance. Um, and what that means to us and our children and future generations. The Maryland flag. For Bimmy, it was the obvious choice. But if you look a little bit closer, you'll see this one has a twist. You know, the Maryland flag is significant, but I wanted it to be a little extra, a little personalized. You extra? Ah, <laughs> uh, nah. Just a little, just a little <laughs> dash. If anybody noticed, his campaign flags while he was campaigning to become governor actually had that turquoise blue around the state of Maryland. After she put it together, the only thing left to do was get on Governor Moore's schedule. A lot easier said than done. First of all, it's very official <laughs> and you have a meeting with the governor. Even though Bimmy had nearly a year to think of what she would say or how she would feel to present the governor with this gift, nothing would have made her ready for the flow of emotions in that moment. As soon as I walked into the office, I didn't even realize it. I literally like started crying. <laughs> Tears of joy thinking of her grandmother. I think my grandmother was on my mind a lot because she was a lot of the influence behind me wanting to do this blanket in the first place. And so just thinking of how proud she would be of that moment. And to her surprise, Governor Moore may have been just as excited for the meeting as she was. The first thing he said to me is, I've been waiting so long to meet you. I've been looking forward to this moment. I'm so excited to see this piece and to get to spend this time with you. <laughs> the consensus is that he's a pretty kind and cool person, you know, and for this person to literally genuinely be excited about meeting me was very, very touching. <laughs> oh, and she did want to brag on a little something else. I don't know if you all know this, but a couple of my pictures were actually taken by the governor that day. Yeah. And funny enough, his secretary is next to him like, he's not known for taking great pictures. <laughs> Despite the doubters, Governor Moore did rise to the occasion, but there's another picture Bimmy will remember even more. As I was leaving his office, I looked back and he was admiring the blanket. All right, guys, thanks for watching WMAR2 News on YouTube. If you enjoyed that story, why not hit that circle and subscribe? We post stories directly from our newscast right here every single day, and you can watch anytime you want.